Hey everybody, I wanted to give you an update on the trip and the giving and everything that's been happening. I'm so excited. So here's kind of a look at what's happened in the last week or so. First, I want to say thank you so much to everybody who has given. I'm excited about the trip. Our dates are locked in and everything is looking awesome. I've got less than two months until I leave now. And so now I'm actually in the process of trying to start getting things put together and arranged and made sure that I'm prepared and ready to go. Yeah, I'm actually even looking at silly things like, okay, what clothes am I going to wear? Make sure I pull out the right grumpy t-shirts and do I have other things? And do I really want a Disney bound or not a day or two? I might. I don't know yet. I actually do have an outfit that could possibly pass as a goofy Disney bound, so I might do that. We'll see. But yeah, I'm trying to think all these kinds of things through and trying to get everything into place. My meet and greet with my viewers, if you're able to be down there, is going to be on January 13th. Right now we're looking over at Disney Springs because it's an easy place for everybody to get into and doesn't cost you any money to get there. They do have a stage and an amphitheater there, which I don't know if they have a concert or anything. It's a Saturday on a holiday weekend, so they might. But once I find out if they've got anything going on there or not, right now I'm thinking that might be our location to meet because it's out of the way. We'll meet in the bleachers so nobody thinks that it's a character or anything like that. That shouldn't be a problem at Disney Springs, but I want to try and make sure that we do everything in such a way that Disney doesn't have any problems with it. Thankfully, characters really don't come out at Disney Springs, so there shouldn't be any problems that way. I'm excited about the collaboration videos I'm going to be doing. I do have one YouTuber I'm definitely set up with, um, and I'm actually going to be doing a collaboration with them in the next week and a half. So you'll see that in about two to three weeks, and so I don't want to tell you who it is. I don't want to ruin that surprise. I have messages and emails sent out to about another seven or eight YouTubers, and we will see which ones of them get back to me. Several of you have mentioned a bunch of them, and if you're thinking of a couple of the big ones, yeah, I probably sent them an email. And hey, if you've gotten in with them, send them out and say, hey, check out this guy. He sent you an email. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hopeful and excited to be able to get a couple more put together. I think they'd be able to be cool to be able to come back with a couple different collaboration videos with them. When I go to the parks, my tentative plan right now is to save Magic Kingdom for near the end, probably Animal Kingdom near the beginning, I'm getting in through cast member tickets. The one thing with cast member tickets is you really don't have access to the Fast Pass Plus tickets early like you would if you had a regular ticket. The cast member might be able to book them up to seven days early, but even that isn't a sure thing. So I'm probably going to be booking my Fast Pass tickets while I'm at the park, which means I'm going to be at the mercy and whims of some of that. So when I do go to Animal Kingdom, which I fully expect to be on the first or second day I'm in the park, so, so probably Sunday or Monday, the 14th or 15th. I'm going to be heading straight to Pandora. I will be there early. I want to get Pandora quick. And then I'll try and book Fast Pass for it for later on so I can catch it again, but we will see if that happens or not. <laughs> Over at Epcot on the day that I go there, which will probably be the day after Animal Kingdom, so I'm thinking like Monday the 15th. Epcot right now, there's three things I really want to be able to hit on the Fast Pass, and I can't do all three of them. And that's going to be Test Track, Soaring, and Frozen, as well as probably Character Spot, try to get it early when there's no line. And so it's going to be tough to get those, and so we'll see how things work out. My goal in particular for Epcot is to be able to try to finish the park early so I can hop mid-afternoon to late afternoon and head over to one of the other parks. We'll see if that works or not. And that's just because Epcot doesn't have quite as many new things there. So I hit those four things I just mentioned at Epcot, maybe get a few characters around World Showcase. And after that, I'm going to be probably pulling out lots of pictures. Which if you join me in the parks, one of the things to be aware of is, yes, I'm there having a great time. But for me, it, there's a lot of it that's going to be a working trip. And so I'm going to be doing a lot of pictures and a lot of photos. And so it may be one of those things that you're thinking, yay, we're just going to go play. And then here's Sir Willow going click, 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 click. It might get a little annoying just to let you know. <laughs> I fully intend on having a lot of fun too. But I want to make sure that I can get as much done for the videos as I possibly can while I'm there. So just be aware that I'll probably be doing lots of stops, rush to a ride, and then lots of photos and stuff. So 
but I'm looking forward to doing several different things. One of the things I really want to do is I wanted to put some meet and greets on film for you. I'm looking forward to meeting characters. They've got some I haven't met yet, like Kylo Ren, which will be really cool. And so I'm actually trying to put together a custom autograph book. And it's something I will be talking about in a different video. But I'm excited because I'm actually trying to pull in some of my old photos and to be able to put them into the book and have it signed. And hopefully as it comes together, I'll be able to show that to you in detail. And one of the other things I'm really excited about, though, is actually something going back to one of my very early videos. It's a video called It's Better Than a Cash Tip. And it was ways that people thanked cast members. And being a former cast member, these things meant a lot to me. And so it's actually something I've been working on and trying to come up with a neat way to be able to do it. And I've actually found a couple. Believe it or not, online, there are actually places you can download custom thank you cards. And you can see all these pretty little images. And I will put a link down below in the description to the website that has these. They've got several different sets. And you download the cards and then you edit them in your word processor, like Microsoft Word, and you would change this to your family information. And it's just a, a neat little thing. Now, you could print it on paper, although that's not gonna work real well. Ideally, you're gonna print it on card stock or on business cards. I actually ended up <coughs> running out of my card stock. And so I printed it on a matte photo paper, which is thicker. It works pretty well. And this is actually my sheet. You can see I've customized a little bit. I downloaded some different ones and they had some deals there for the Disney cruises, which I'm not going on a Disney cruise, so it didn't do me much good. And so I copied and pasted a couple others, put my name in there, made sure I edited it so it was really nice, and then, and then I cut them out so they're business card size. And I've got a nice little stack of them here, and I'll be able to carry those around in my camera bag, and anytime a cast member does something really cool, hey, pull one out, pull one out and say, thank you so much, appreciate it. The other nice thing with these is they're blank on the back. So if a cast member does something and I wanna write down what they did or make a special note, I can do it on there. The other thing too is if it's something, say I had a really neat character encounter and I want that character to be able to see it later on. Well, I've got space on the back that I can then write down the YouTube channel name or something like that and give that to them and say, hey, look out You know, in a month or so, hopefully I will have that posted up. Very nice little cards, nice little way to say thank you to the cast members. Some people actually take candies and attach them to these. That's okay. Um, I'm going to be saving my bag space. But this way I have just a, a very nice, neat, custom way to be able to say thank you to the cast members. And trust me, having gotten those in the past, cast members will take these and a lot of them will keep these. I've got ones that I got eight, nine, ten years ago when I still keep them. I actually read this really neat, neat story the other day um, when I was looking up some research on these that there was a gentleman who'd been working at the parks for 20 years and had saved every single thank you note and card and things like that that he'd gotten. And he actually had a drawer at home just filled with thank you notes. How cool is that? So if you're wanting a way to bless a cast member when you're there, check out that link below, customize them. Doesn't cost very much to buy some card stock, about three, four dollars, and print them off on your printer at home. Then you've got a very quick, cheap, easy way to thank the cast members for doing something special for you. So that's some of my early plans. Again, thank you so much to everybody who's given. I still have the campaign up. There's still people donating. Uh, I've actually paid about $750 now towards my medical bills, which I am grateful for. I have a little bit more of the money that's locked up into another account, and I'm holding it there until probably just after the trip, just trying to make sure I don't need it for the trip in case there's an emergency or something. I've got the rest of the trip money locked up into a special savings account where it can't get spent. And I am so excited about going. I'm looking forward to doing a number of things on this trip and you all have made it possible. I'm looking on ways to be able to get some cheap pins so I can do some pin trading while I'm down there and show people some of the ways to do pin trading and some of the secret locations because there are places that have pin boards and stuff. And so that's another one of the things I'm really hoping to be able to do. I've got a lot of, a lot of excited things that I'm waiting to do with the parks and I can't wait to share them with you. Two months, less than two months. Thank you so much for making it possible. I'm going to be like a little kid. Thank you so much for joining with this. Thanks for the update. And hey, if you've got other ideas to help make the trip even more fun, I'd love to hear them. Love to hear about Disney bounding as well. One of the other things I'm really excited about is it looks like I might have an in on the Universal tickets too. And so excited about making that happen and Universal's got a number of things that I haven't checked out yet. 
I haven't seen any of the Harry Potter stuff, so that's all brand new to me. Kong is brand new to me, um, and they've added a number of other things. And so I can't wait to see all that too and put all that into videos and share it all with you. It's going to be an exciting trip. I can't wait to go. Thank you. Thank you for making it happen.